What's up everyone? Welcome back to Bloodborne. I'm Obix and in this episode we are finishing the DLC. I'm not gonna finish it all today. There's gonna be multiple recordings, I'm certain of it. I'm not gonna pretend like the fishing amulet is just a walk on the beach and that then I just slap the newborn back to the mom's uterus and everything's fine. I'm certain the fishing amulet will be a headache. Orphan of course will be a bigger headache. So it will take time, it will take a couple of recordings. But I'll edit it in a way that this will be the final episode of the DLC. Uh, just a heads up, I had some hiccups, I've already tried to start this recording before, but I don't know why my computer just didn't feel like working. My camera was constantly freezing, the game was looking super crunchy, it was getting very pixelated, the quality was dropping like mad, so I just had to stop after like 10 minutes of trying. I did attempt fighting Lawrence for 6 attempts, but again, it was so bad the quality that I can't even keep a sample of them. So don't be surprised that the fog is already there. Uh, and yeah, and something that I also said before I entered the fight is that after facing Lady Maria, I finally understood something that I kept telling to myself from the very beginning of the game, which is I gotta be cautious and I gotta play safe and be careful. I shouldn't rush to attack, I should focus more on dodging. And so from now on, I wanna focus more on learning the attack patterns of the boss, dodge the attacks and land a hit once in a while. And then once I get more used to the attacks and I learn the open windows better, I start attacking more. So I died six attempts, I died six times, but it was mostly six times of just dodging and barely attacking. But yeah, let's just see how it goes. Let's take it slow, try to think of what we have to improve every time we die. It's also wild that I'm starting off by facing a boss. I gotta, fa I gotta get that out of my chest. Like, it's weird that I'm not first exploring an area, warming up. No, it's just... Right into action. But yeah, hopefully it won't take that crazy amount of attempts as Lady Maria. Well... <laughs> oh, okay. He has a faster one and a slower one. Kinda tricky. The slower one, if I don't dodge it well, I get one shot. This one is kinda... Doesn't one shot me, but it takes a lot of health. Ah, that attack is so tricky. Even with the increased resistances, I, got, I get one shot. Why is this attack so tricky, dude? It's one of those attacks that I, f I look at it and it's like, oh, it's that attack. It's so easy to dodge. And <laughs> I dodge it wrong. It's like the third or fourth time that I die to it. Motherfucker. Oh, I'm alive. Oh. Just a second, dude. That was awesome. I really thought I got one shot there. I mean, it was not awesome, but I'm happy that I survived. It was the faster one. Ah, fuck. Okay. It's not immediate. Okay. I dodged the first. I gotta wait a fraction of a second to dodge the second. Okay, but slowly we're doing some improvements. I feel solid about this. As long as I keep calm about the fight and I focus on what I gotta change constantly instead of just rushing through it, I think we'll do well. I see. I think I'm starting to understand the difference. When he hesitates and then he lifts his arm, he just slams the hand. When he goes straight to it, he, he does the hand that stops and then explodes. If he goes for it and then hesitates, it's the one that goes faster. But still, I understood visually, but reaction-wise, I'm not sure I'll react immediately to all the different ones. Okay, so it just slam. Yeah, exactly. I thought I was out of range. I should have dodged more. No. No. What the fuck? 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 <laughs> oh, 
Oh shit! I should have gotten away! I should have dodged the way to heal. I got so overwhelmed by the new attack. <laughs> the faster one! I... I... I noticed it was the faster one. I don't know why, but I noticed. But I dodged too late. I dodged it! I finally dodged that the quicker one for one for once in my life. Oh I'm stuck. Oh <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! I knew that he was gonna do it again and I was gonna get screwed. I don't know why, but I just had the feeling. Alright everyone, after playing for an hour and so and trying 26 attempts against Lawrence, I think I'm gonna quit it for today. I'm just not feeling the mindset. I feel like if I grab the controller another day, I'll be much stronger facing him. Sometimes we just gotta take our losses and notice when it's better to stop and come back another day. But yeah, it, it was a, a fine attempt. I feel like I did quite well. It, it just sucked that I didn't reach the second phase already. But I'll come back another day and we'll continue on. No, 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 Why is it so hard to dodge that one in time? Or dodge it properly? I fucking hate the... Those attacks that they do that it's like, oh, you think I'm gonna attack immediately? Nope, I'm raising my arm, but then I go... What the fuck are you doing? Just go for it. I fucking love starting the fight with less blood vials because of the... All the enemies that I have to avoid on the way here. Okay. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I saw it was the big arm first, so it was slower. I dodged properly. Okay, okay. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. Pay attention to the way that I die and what I gotta do different every time. Instead of just rushing back into the fight and not giving myself time to think. This is what I'm talking about. Same way that I'm starting to get used to the different arm slams. Oh, nice. Oh, oh shit. I dodged. No, no, no. Motherfucker, I was healing. Motherfucker, I was healing. <laughs> Fucking hell! <laughs> Fucking hell! What? Since when does he do this? What? Why is he pretending to be Ludwig all of a sudden? <laughs> I didn't know he had a charge attack, what the hell? I really don't recall that attack at all. Yeah, okay, I figured it out. When he does the swipes, no matter which arm he starts with, the second one is always slower. I died. I just wanted to get some health back before I healed.
I apologize for that. I don't know what happened. The audio, probably the, the gameplay just went nuts. I really apologize for that. There we go, second phase. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, okay. I am not ready for the second phase already. Lawrence, please have mercy of me. Oh, that's a lot of lava, Lawrence. That's a lot of lava. Oh, shit. I'm so scared, dude. Did I really miss that? I don't want to heal. Lawrence. Come on, Lawrence.
I am sorry for the quality of the audio. Something is going on. I think. Shit, 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 shit. I'm in such a bad spot. Oh shit! Fuck! That missed! I got him! Oh! Oh! <laughs> yes dude! The first time that I got to the second phase I killed him! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, I killed him in 62 attempts. I died 61 times. That's less than Lady Maria. That's fucking less than Lady Maria and less than Queen of Yarnum. It's the boss that I killed in less attempts. Let's fucking go, dude! Let's fucking go! Woo! Oh, wow. I'm screaming, dude. I'm so sorry. Oh, wow. Oh, what a relief. <laughs> the blood vials kept going down, dude. It kept... My heart was racing. My heart was racing. I was so afraid that I was gonna get fucked. <sighs> I'm really happy. I am really happy. I think it took, even a, even with 60 attempts, I think it still took a bit more than I expected. Not that I expected, but what could have been. Because I had to restart this recording so many times. I think like 10 or 15 attempts were just me getting back in the flow. 10 or 15 attempts were just me dying for no reason because I was rusty. I, and I killed him the first time that I got to the second phase. That's the most impressive part. But I had the feeling that the second phase was easier. And I was right. Oh, dude, this is awesome. This is fucking great, dude. So now I, I'll take a break. And then we'll explore f the fishing hamlet. And maybe, <laughs> maybe. This is a strong maybe, okay? Take this with a grain of salt. Maybe you'll see a change of, war of clothing. But maybe we'll start facing Orphan of Cost today. Dude, this is insane. I fucking did it. Where's the fucking... <laughs> yeah, buddy! Fuck off, Lawrence! Beast, embrace my ass! I'm really happy. I am really happy. After all the struggle that I had to make this recording happen, I'm really happy that it actually went smoothly with this boss. Alright, everyone. It is finally time to enter the fishing hamlet, the final area of the DLC. And I got a broccoli head, because one of the things that the guy, the guy tells me is that before the lamp, there's a guy that I gotta talk to with a milkweed rune equipped. And then he'll give me the cursed brew. 
But yeah, let's finally explore the last area. We'll leave behind the research hall, the astro clock tower. We'll go back later because we gotta go to the cells once we find the key. But for now, we're gonna explore this new area. I was so confused when I entered this area the first time that I didn't even understand that was Yarnum under the lake. Such tiny arms. Body is so messed. Great. I'll just remove the rune now, get my normal attire, and then we'll finally explore. Alright, so we got some attire to pick up from second floor of a house i don't know which one and we got the rock we used to pick up from inside the well that i don't know that i know where it is let's see how quickly we can get around this area who these guys are playing i think they are fast if i recall correctly <coughs> I was just thinking, do these vermin, like, because as you see, you have all these dead corpses with this sort of white uh, vermin. These white little larva, larvae, uh, going around. And then you have those buckets with the large versions of these. Are these the vermin that become the women on the shells? On the seashells? Like, they evolve into this and this into the women. Oh shit. gotten screwed i also can't wait to face the fucking whale sharks or whatever those big fuckers are called knowing that you can parry them they are actually pretty easy to parry but they are such a pain when you don't know that oh these fuckers That's a lot of damage, dude. What the fuck is wrong with you? No, 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 no. Shit, shit, shit. I'm out of stamina. Oh shit, there's one of those here. I tried to bury the fucker, dude! Can I bury you from, from behind? Oh 
I'll try next time. I appreciate your suicide, thank you. Oh shit, there's so many of you. Do I... I was just wondering where the fuck was the guy throwing the Molotovs. Um, I was wondering also if I should... Oh shit, if I should already go for the well. I guess I will. I'll j uh, I mean, I'll explore this spot first and then we'll go for the well I totally forgot that uh, there were winter lanterns going around nearby. Oh boy. Yes. Ooh. Ooh, I tried to dodge. No! Oh, I survived! Oh, shit! I can parry you from behind. Okay. Theory confirmed. Why does this... Oh, dude. Mano, caralho, pai, eu quero relaxar e fazer esta merda com calma. Puta que pariu estes inimigos, mano. Foda-se. Wait, did the other one die? Oh, did it work? Oh shit, I think it worked. No! Oh, do I climb from here? Oh, okay. I can at least unlock this ladder. Feels like it's perfect. What the fuck? Fuck 
Ich bin Bitch. Oh, there we go. Okay. These are the clothes that I wanted to pick up. What's up, everyone? I'm back. I had to take a break because I started getting really pissed off and frustrated during the last recording. These giant sharks are a pain in the ass. And I just couldn't get myself to defeat them and get the Rakuyu. So I had to leave it for another day. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to defeat them, push forward. I checked some videos online on what was the best strategy to defeat them. So I'll try to act accordingly. The bone worked, the blade worked, but I don't know if they're still killing each other because the bars disappeared. Fucking hell! You gotta be fucking kidding me, dude. Why?
Finally, dude. Finally. Holy shit, dude. They took me legit, what, three hours to kill in total? There were bosses that took me last time. I fucking have the Rakuyu, finally. Now I, don't, I never have to come back to this well ever again. The fact that in the beginning I struggled to even kill one of them. And then I finally saw a video online of the best strategy to do this. I started getting the hang of killing the first one and then the second one would just one shot me. I'm gonna take a break. No way I'm gonna continue playing after this. I'll go back to the Hunter's Dream, restock, repair my weapon, everything. And then we'll continue on. Holy shit. This with the background music of the Winter Lanterns. Whoever designed this place, this fucking well with two sharks and the lullabies of the Winter Lanterns nearby. You, whoever you are, why would you do this? Isn't the game hard enough already as it is? I don't even... I don't even feel happy for defeating them. They are so upsetting and so frustrating. I'm just relieved that they're done. I don't even feel proud that I accomplished this. It's so infuriating. Dude. I think I aged five years just fighting these two fuckers. The way that they upset me is just otherworldly. It's another level, really. <clears throat> oh, what the fuck? Oh, and I got the spear on my leg. <laughs> Shit, I forgot about these fuckers. I know- I believe there's a shark around here, right? Oh, and there's these dogs as well. Oh! What the fuck? They are so weird, dude. They made so many versions of the dogs. You have the normal- the main game one. You have the one with the crow head, you have the one from the Hunter's Nightmare that looks like a real life dog. Then you have this fish dog. They kept mixing it up with other shit. I believe there's a shortcut nearby. No, I'm, I'm mistaking it. I'm thinking of another place. It would be too soon to have a shortcut, but it really felt like the area. I apologize for any, any technical issues during the recording. I don't know why, but the, the game just froze for a bit.
<laughs> I'm gonna try running. I'm really sick of these enemies. Dude, I just wanna get to an area where I can explore calmly. Instead of dealing with sharks and the fucking skull summoners. I'm really sick of this area. Alright, I'll wait here. So that the enemies calm down and go back. And then I'll finally kill that fuck. Finally, I finally can explore this corner calmly. Oh, there's an item there. Oh, I see. You can see that area here. Okay. I know which area that is. Yeah, the shortcut that I thought I could find in this village or here in the beginning is a shortcut that, that deals... Okay, it's here. I think I'm thinking correctly. Okay. Finally, another limp. What's up, Simon? The beast hide assassin. Me. Oh, so he was killed by Balter? Again. And again. Interesting. I didn't understand it. I did hear the bell, but I didn't connect that he was killed by Balter. Please. I need you to do something. Please. Bring to an end the horror. I will, son. Some of our forefathers sin. Hunters cannot bear their weight forever. Exactly. I'm with you, my man. Farewell, Simon. It was a pleasure meeting you. At least among all the madness in this place, there was still a sane person. A sane and nice person. I totally didn't remember about this lamp. I remembered about this house with the shortcut here i knew that there was a shortcut from a cabin like this to that underground area to the beginning area of the village that i, I was in but i did not recall it as a separate lamp i very much appreciate it though Right, and this lamp has two shortcuts. Let me just cross that we got the bow. I was, I, I started getting scared that the shark was gonna notice me. All right, I was just checking on the guide because um, apparently now I just gotta move forward, and I'll eventually face brother four times. Three uh, here in the summoned areas, and then the fourth one in his cell. But the guy tells me that if I kill him in the cell directly, I'll just get the items that he drops instead of having to face him multiple times. Alright everyone, let's explore the underground cells. Uh, I did a backup save just in case that killing brother prevents me from getting all his drops. But it should be fine. Shrouded by night, but with steady ground on the tree, sir.
What did you drink? What was that? Mm-hmm. Right. Damn, bro. Why can't I attack him? That sucked. I can't attack him. What? Why can't... What did you drink? What is that shit? He drank something that prevents me from attacking him. That's very weird. There we go. Brother's testimony. All right. It's really weird. What did he drink though? I'm very intrigued by that. Was it the lead elixir? Because that's not the effect that it creates. The only thing that I can think of that makes you dodge attacks better. Besides the old hunter's bone. Oh, they're dead because brother killed him. I knew there was someone in one of these cells. There we go, all right, first try. Well, well, look who's here. And kill me, as if to right your wrongs. <laughs> we get it, you're mad, brother. I don't care about you. Changes. Such is the nature. Right, blood, uh, blood letter. So this means I'm done with brother. Now, as I explore, I'll just find these items instead of having to face his summons. It's great. Let me try that new attire just to see how it looks. This outfit is really weird because every single piece has a different name. So odd. So, I believe the first piece of Brother's armor should be close by. Yeah, and so this is the first place that Brother would be summoned. 
and I would have to defeat him. But since I already killed him, there we go. We have his item here. Okay, perfect. It was a good call. I don't know why the guy doesn't do this the, way other, the other way around. The guy tells me to face brother in all of these places, defeat cause, and then go back and go to the underground cells. This is so much easier, because this way I don't have to defeat him multiple times. Yeah. This fucker does lightning, I remember that. Fuck off. I fell. Shit. No! How can I? Like this. I gotta say that walking around this area is pretty scary because at any point I can walk off this ledge and get screwed. It's a good thing that I exploded all those flasks before. Because this fucker would have exploded them as soon as I landed my feet here. East side, okay. Alright. Let's head on to the cave. I'm not very excited about this area, because I remember that there's a lot of those fuckers that summon lightning. And it makes this area a quick pain in the ass.
Thank you. What are they? Are they collecting the slugs? What's the purpose? Quite odd because it's like there's this whole community of these fish people, and they are just out here collecting these slugs that I believe become those women that live in these seashells. Like, my question is are they doing this just to help, or is there a reason f that benefits them as well? Like, are those women in the seashells related to their life cycle as well? Are they the females that give birth to them? Or is this just some symbiotic relationship? That they help each other? I know I just unlocked the shortcut, but I killed every enemy. I didn't want to repeat that. I shook to my core thinking that I, that fucker was gonna hit me. I think from here on the women in the seashells start appearing to attack. If I'm not mistaken. They kind of look like the cause parasite. Do they have a direct connection to cause? Are they like some offspring of cause? Not in the great one sense, but just a living being that was created somehow. I don't know. There's so many questions about this place. Dude. They take less damage if I attack the shell instead of the body. I see. I'm so afraid that at some point one of them is gonna fall on top of me again. I don't know if it happens here. I can kinda see cause being one of these things earlier on in its life cycle. Because cause is a, a huge slug with a human face. And these things begin as slugs. Then they spend their... The part of their life cycle where they start looking like humans inside the shell. And I suppose that uh, sometime later they just grow too big for the shell and just develop out of it. It's so weird though. Such a complex life cycle. Oh, I was right. They can jump it. Okay. I wasn't sure, I was not sure if they were fast or not. There is a version of them that is faster if they don't have the shell. Holy shit, okay. And it's not just a bit faster, they legit jump it. I think there's a winter lantern around here. If I'm not mistaken. Besides those creatures, there's a winter lantern. And brother should be here as well, but I'll just have to pick up his item. Okay, bloody trousers. Oh! Shit. So now we'll explore the lower part of the cave. Unlock the next shortcut. Oh, I can hear the winter lanterns. I am so happy! Oh boy, let's go. I want to unlock the shortcut first this right 
Oh, this is perfect. I'm actually glad that this part is going smoothly. I was really tired of dying right at the beginning of the village, dude. As soon as I entered the fishing hamlet, I had to face the the giant sharks for a long time. And then I had to to try to to get past the beginning area with that fucker summoning the skulls. It was tough. This area is a bit more relaxed. We're just gonna explore the final area of the fishing hamlet. Hopefully I won't take too long to face the winter lanterns. And then that will be it for today, because I'll leave Orphan of course for another day. I know that fucker is gonna take too long, and it's already getting late. But I'm happy that we're almost done. I was really afraid that some enemy was gonna pop up from there. Oh, this is the path to the orphan. Oh, I can already face the boss if I want to. Oh, shit. I thought I'd have to explore a bit more before. Oh, dude. Oh, <laughs> I'm so close to ending the DLC, dude. And by so close, I mean probably a week away. Because <laughs> I have no idea how long the orphan is gonna take me. Oh, shit. Okay, wait. Let me... I should have equipped the resistance, the, the runes to raise my crazy resistances. Wait, let's... I can parry you. Oh, no. Oh, I was trying to parry. Damn it. Yeah, I'm gonna tweak my runes because I don't wanna have to constantly deal with the frenzy. This is really, I don't get the point of this. When you equip shit that changes your resistances, it shows that the bar increases, but for some reason it also fills up a big chunk. I really had to use a sedative just because I changed my runes. Otherwise I would have to wait a long time. I don't get it. Oh, the sed- No, 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 no! I also gotta give it up for the designers of the level designers of this area because the run for Lawrence was a fucking pain in the ass. But at least with Orphan of Cause they were just very straightforward. They know it's a hard boss and it would suck to have to face enemies before. Awesome. One to go. And this is ledge to the sharks, exactly. You really cannot shoot it from here? What the fuck? It looks like such an obvious thing to do. They really don't want you to knock off the shark from the roof, huh? Nothing works, what the hell? That's so weird. Shit. His attacks have a mad range. That was pretty funny. The fact that the enemy has a jump animation. But it's not possible for it to jump over a lead. No! What is this?
shit. Okay, so I'll I'll just run through the winter lanterns. I'll just run by them. I'm not gonna kill them again. Actually, I might just run through. I might just run by all of these enemies. I just want to pick up the blood rock. That fucker in the corner. Finally, some peace and quiet. Now, if you allow me, let me pick up the damn blood rock. Thank you. Took a while. It's fucking annoying. I'm tired of getting stuck in places. Although, that's exactly what's gonna happen after this. Well. So now that I finally explored everything that there is to explore in the fishing hamlet, and I've picked every item, um, I'll stop recording for today, and tomorrow I'll come back and face Orphan of Cause. It's gonna be a hell of a ride, you can tell. Let me just check the, the new attire. Oh. It is very cool. Wait. Am I just realizing something now? This is the fucking height of a cleric beast, isn't it? You have the horns. You have the fur that is bigger on my left arm, exactly like the beasts. Holy shit, dude. I thought it was just some hide of a random beast. Now I understood, no, it's it's the hide of an actually pretty tough to defeat beast. Damn, holy shit. That's very impressive, actually. Why didn't this click in my head before? <laughs> it's so funny. It feels like it's so obvious. What does the description say even? The scalp of a horrible cleric... I'm done. Alright everyone. It is finally time. We are about to face Orphan of Cause. The last boss on the DLC, the hardest boss of the game. I am so not ready. When I tell you I was starting to feel anxious before starting this recording. Like I was preparing the setup and I started feeling my heart racing. The anxiety that this fucker gives me. Just thinking about it. I am so not ready. I'm gonna get screwed. Alright, and the thing is, I gotta stick to the strategy. I'll focus on dodging, and with this boss, I think I'll have to play play with that strategy the whole time. It's not like the other bosses that I have to start safe, dodge more so that I can learn the tech patterns, and then I can start attacking more and more. I don't think I'll be able to do that with Orphan of Cause. It's so fast that if I manage to land one hit once in a while, I'm already lucky. And I gotta play safe because I gotta have stamina to dodge. I really can't believe that it that I've come this far. But I'm so not ready for this. Oh boy. Here we go.
<laughs> All right, break my ass orphan. God. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I am not ready for this, dude. Oh! I can survive. <laughs> oh! I thought I dodged well. Oh shit. This attack sucks. I gotta stop dodging backwards. Okay. <laughs> I can parry him on that attack, which is not wise. I was super confident. Oh! Yeah, this attack stuns me. Ah! Oh. I gotta stick to one attack. Why? I'm always getting hit by the fucking... Look at the amount of health that I took from him. I... I don't like this. His health is too much. I gotta stop doing this! Why do I keep doing this? Gotta stop doing this. Okay, now we go. But I dodged! Dude, come on! I basically took ha uh, a third of his health. I think I finally got the hang of the first phase, but it's so annoying that I get one shot like that. What is wrong with this throwable? I regained health because I hit him while I walk. I didn't even attack. There's a bunch of attacks that I could be parrying, but I don't know why it's not clicking in my head to try to shoot on them. Though I've noticed the very clear open window. Like here. I could parry that attack, it's so obvious, but... I see it, I think of it almost every time and I don't do it. Why am I getting... Five bullets? I got five bullets back. Shouldn't I get three? I was at 15 and I went up to 20. Did I recall the rune incorrectly? Oh, I could have gotten one shot with that. Yeah, exactly. I was just checking. The rune that I have equipped gets me three bullets per visceral attack. I was at 15, I did one visceral attack and I got 5 bullets. What happened? Was that a bug? I gotta go back to that recording and check. That was really weird. I mean, I don't mind, that's... even better for me, but... Why is this happening? Oh shit. Oh. 
That's so aggressive, dude. So I got to his second phase in 45 attempts. <laughs> it took me over five minutes to get to the second phase and then I get one shot. Oh boy. The two times that I got to the second phase. Immediate one shot. I'm glad that at least I got the hang of the first phase. But the second phase is so different, dude. It totally changes his attack patterns. He goes from human-like to beast-like. He starts walking on the four legs holding the placenta. It's such a shift. Finally! I don't get this attack. I really don't. Alright everyone, so I took a break, uh, it was quite a big break actually, because I had to do some more stuff today. And after I came back, I decided to check online what would be the best strategy to face Orphan. And I saw a video of someone also facing him on blood level 4, where when he gets to phase 2, they start pairing him from behind with a charge attack and then doing the transform attack just like I did with the sharks on the well. I totally forgot about that. Every, every time that he got to the second phase, I thought I could parry him when he was transitioning. But you cannot do the charge attack right away. You have to wait for the animation to end. But if you manage to do it, you can just unlock him and continue doing that charge and transform attack non-stop. Hopefully. So that's what I'll try to do. And I don't know if you guys will consider cheating that I check the strategy online or not. But the thing is... If I wouldn't check the strategy, this would take way too long. And I have already played the game. I want to finish it so that I can move on to other games. And it's totally fine if I Google some things to help me out on the way. But this was the only boss that I felt like I needed to Google the strategy. Because the rest of the bosses are pretty straightforward. And I, I'm certain at some point I would get the hang of it. But this might uh, reduce like 50 attempts of my time. Are you serious? I was hoping to stun lock him after the transformation. Oh! Again. I'm gonna be honest everyone, I am not feeling it right now. Uh, it's very frustrating to keep dying on the first phase and then every single time that I got to the second phase I got one shot without even landing a single hit. So that's a bit frustrating. And yeah, I'm not, I don't think I'm in the mindset to face this fucker right now. I'll give it a couple more attempts and see how it goes. But I might just stop for today, relax, because I got other shit to organize and to do. And then I'll come back another day and finish this off. Yeah. This is not on purpose that I'm stopping on the 69, but I'm really not feeling it. Like, I was not feeling it, and yet I did pretty well on the first phase, but the second phase is just a whole other level, and it requires me to think about a whole new strategy. It's a lot of brain work, and I'm not in a mood for that, so... Alright everyone, it's been a couple of days, and I'm back. Let's see how this goes. I am not excited to continue this fight. I just want to get done with it. And it I just feel like it's going to take forever because the second phase is so different from the first phase. I checked some videos online to understand what I should change about my strategy. The first thing that I'm going to do is try to focus the fight on the water side. It's much safer here because here I don't have obstacles to get stuck on.
I really wanted to do the parry loop. Suck. Oh, this is the lightning, isn't it? Oh, the music stopped. I hit an invisible wall and the music just stopped. That was weird. Oh, here we go again. Oh, I... My heart! I was so proud that I managed to dodge some attacks. I gotta say, the most frustrating thing about fighting Orphan is that I'm very confident that I'll beat him. I'm certain of it. I won't give up until I do. But it's very frustrating that I cannot predict in how many attempts I will do it. So it's just a matter of waiting and patience. I know that at some point I'll get the hang of the second phase as well and I'll kill him. But I have no fucking idea how long that will take because I'm still dying to the first phase. This is actually quite upsetting because I'm nearing 100 attempts and I've barely touched the second phase. Didn't go so well as I expected. Okay, but I can definitely do that loop. I can definitely do it. What's up everyone? I'm back. It's been a while. Uh, I had a couple of problems uh, preventing me from continuing this recording. I got sick and then after I healed I just didn't, <laughs> I didn't feel like doing this. When I tell you I've been delaying the start of this recording for like two or three days because I don't want to face the orphan. I've been so close to stopping blood level 4 for so many, like so many times. There were so many bosses that drove me nuts that I really thought I would stop it. But I kept going, but Orphan of course is just something else, dude. I've died a hundred times without even learning anything of the second phase. And I have a strategy to try to beat him, but it's gonna take a while. And if it doesn't work, I'll just die immediately, I can tell. But yeah, anyway, I also changed something on the setup. Ta-da! I have a body. You can see my face without the white on the background. You can see my arms if I decide to say something, which is great. Uh, yeah, I just decided to try this out and I managed to make it work, which is really great. So <laughs> let's just let's just keep going, I guess. I am so not ready for this shit. I am not ready for this. I'm gonna die so many times again because I haven't fought this sucker for over a week. Well. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's gonna take a while. <laughs> I forget that when I hit the invisible wall, the music stops. It's always funny. I just realized that the camera cannot decide if it wants to cut my hair out or not. <laughs> sometimes it is there, sometimes it isn't. Well... I apologize if it is flashing a bit. Oh my god, dude! Oh! 
Come on, dude. Oh, but that was better. Oh god, oh god, where is he? Oh! I am so scared, dude. Leave me alone, please. Oh! Dude, holy shit. Can you calm the fuck down? Fuck. Come on, dude. Come on, second phase. Let's go. I'm alive! Oh, fucking hell, dude! Oh, I was too far. Fuck. Oh! I don't know why, but my runes are bugging. And I'm realizing it's more than one. Before I equip the rune that gives me three bullets for visceral attack, and there were moments that I got 5 back. And now I have a rune that gives me 300 points of health. And my max health is 500. And I just filled my whole bar with one visceral attack. It's a weird glitch. I mean, I don't mind at all. I appreciate it. But it's very weird, especially being 2 runes. But it's too related to visceral attacks, which is interesting. I don't know why, but as time goes by, the first phase is becoming increasingly boring and difficult to beat. I used to manage to the first phase within 2 minutes, and now I find myself beating it in 4 or 5 minutes. Do, as the amount of attempts increases, I find myself taking longer, because I cannot manage to trigger the fucking jumping attack. He keeps doing the attacks that I don't want, and it doesn't allow me to do the parry. And I don't want to do a normal parry and visceral, because it doesn't do that much damage. I want the jump attack. It's the only attack that I want him to do. And he doesn't do it. I took 8 minutes. 8 fucking minutes to get to the second phase and then I die immediately. What the fuck, dude? I'm next to the invisible wall, dude. I was next to the wall. Oh, I was so scared there. When I tell you I was trying to dodge, but I couldn't. Do, do you fucking see this? Do you fucking see what just happened? I was about to shoot him and win. I was about to shoot him and win within 200 and few attempts. I can't believe that he fucking killed me with that attack in the end. <gasps> oh my fucking god, dude. Okay, I'm gonna refill. It went so well. I'm afraid that I'm gonna die another 100 times. I am so afraid I'm gonna die another hundred times, dude.
This fucker. Oh, look. Do you see the audacity of this fucker? Second time that I die, one hit away. Oh, I thought I won. I did it! I fucking did I cannot talk too loud because it's late. Holy shit, dude! Oh, where's the fucking remote, dude? Oh. <laughs> dude, yes! Oh, wow. Okay, I <laughs> there's there's a lot that I gotta explain right now. Holy shit, I am sweating. I'm sweating so much. Holy fuck! Wait for the for the sake of it. What's up, Nero? For the sake of it, let me just tweak a thing here because I want to be able to express myself. Oh shit, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait. Bear with me for a second. There we go. I have hands. <laughs> so, here's the thing. Orphan of Cause was giving me fucking anxiety. Okay? He was giving me fucking anxiety. Knowing that I had to face him, I kept delaying the recording of this fight for a really long time. And then I started, it took a really long time, as you saw. It took me 234 attempts to beat him. 234 attempts. 33 dead. Um, yeah, so like, I, I didn't feel like doing it. Like, I was confident that I would do it, of course, but... Knowing how tough he is, it demotivated me. I didn't feel the, the thing to do it. And it's so close to the end of the game. That's what, what was most upsetting. Knowing that after this boss, the game is pretty much done. This is the hardest boss in the game. But yeah, it, it, it was really tough. And I recorded one, two, three days. I don't know how many days it has been in, a, in total. I think it's been a total of four days for recordings for recording sessions um yeah and it, 
at some point I even stopped and decided to have some fun. I leveled up my character, decided to have a few attempts against cause I didn't beat him, just to notice the difference in damage facing a boss. I also end up killing Mariko, Kerman and Moon Presence in that leveled up um, character. Basically, I just used the same game. I did a hard save on a stick. And so I leveled up, had some fun, and then I loaded the save back so that I wouldn't mess up the level 4. Oh, yeah, and by the way, blood level 4, as you can see. Um, and yeah, like, I was confident that I would beat him, but it was giving me such anxiety. And then the wildest thing is I saw strategies online. I saw so many uh, strategies that people found to beat him and to cheese him. But I couldn't figure out one that worked for me. I couldn't get the hang of any of them. And then after 200 attempts, I just decided, okay, let's use the Beast Blood Pellet. And that's fucking wild, because against the hardest boss in the game, I decided to use the item that makes me take more damage. I never used Beast Blood Pellets before, because I was afraid of that. I was afraid of the, the, of the nerf of taking more damage, because Blood Level 4 is already tough as it is, with extra damage on top. It's pretty much suicide. But I fucking did it against Orphan of Cause, and that's fucking wild. I'm still processing the fact that I actually did it. But it worked. It was way better to have the risk of taking damage, but dealing way more damage at once, than to be in the safe zone of not having extra damage, but having to deal way much more attacks. Having to land way more hits is way tougher. This way, I ended the fight much quicker. And I am so happy about this. I can't believe I did it. I mean, I can believe I did it, but... Damn. I, I sacrificed my health in Prol of this game. I haven't eaten in five hours. I should have taken a break, but the thing is, it's pretty funny. This is the toughest boss in the game, and yet, Although I just mentioned that I felt so much anxiety with the thought of facing this boss, I was calm the whole way through today. Every single time that I died, I was chill. And now I won and I was like, yeah, I, like I'm really happy, but deep inside I was like, yeah, I knew this was gonna happen. Which is wild. There's other bosses that I found or I thought were easier. And I got so frustrated fighting them. And then when I finally beat them, it was such a celebration. And this boss should be the biggest celebration of all. But I feel like this victory was just... Um, it was coming. I just, the whole time I just knew, like, I'm gonna win. I'm gonna beat him. Even if it's not today, I know I'm gonna beat him. I'm not stressed about it. Which is wild. That's a big change in mindset. Oh, wow. All right, I thought I had to talk to this. Rip Orphan. May you rest in peace. May you find a peaceful place away from all this torment. Ah, sweet child of course. Curse, a bottomless sea, accepting of all that there is and can be. Hmm. All right, I was just checking, and with this fight, the DLC is over. There is nothing else for me to pick up, nothing else to fight. So, the DLC is over, and on the next episode. We are finishing Bloodborne. We are gonna fight Murgo, German, and the Moon Presence. We're gonna get all endings. Although, heads up, uh, as I said, I had that moment that I had some fun, and I decided to level up my character and just go around, kill some bosses, fight some enemies. I ended up unlocking some trophies. I already beat Murgo, German, and the Moon Presence. So I already got the trophies related to killing those bosses, and I already got the trophy related to the ending of defeating the moon presence but we're gonna do it again because i didn't do it in blood level 4 and yeah next episode is the last episode of bloodborne and i cannot express how excited i am about that fact 
I'll finally be able to move on to other games. And although I really love this game, it has been a tough road to do Blood Level 4. But I feel like after beating Orphan of Cause in Blood Level 4, I can do anything, my dude. I can do anything. This is the hardest boss. The other ones are going to be so much easier. Maybe I'll even use Beast Blood Pellets against them as well. Ah, oh, this was wild. Alright, thank you everyone for watching this episode. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.